Hello, I'm Marianne from Art Safari and I'd like to go through another drawing technique for drawing animals from life with you today. Um, the advantage of this particular one is that we're ignoring a lot of the detail, we're simplifying the whole of the animal because we're just going to look at angles and straight lines. So this technique is observing straight lines and angles and today we're going to look at antelope. This is the kind of drawing that I expect you to be able to do at the end of this session. It's looking at the angles, it's simplified. And then here's another one where I've filled in all of the detail over the top. What I like to do when I'm looking at a herd of antelope, for example, and here we're, go we're going to look at impala, I like to simplify the lines and simplify the shapes as much as I possibly can. So here I'm going to ignore all those nice curves and just concentrate on the angles of the animal. Might be looking at a straight back, a very pointed behind, a fairly flat belly, and then bringing the animal up and looking at the various composite shapes which make up that animal. Very quickly, you have your animal there. I'm gonna do quite a lot of these because we are we've got a herd of them um, some of them might be sitting down, so again you're looking at straight lines and the various shapes that make up that animal. These are very small diagrams but actually it's just surprising what you can do from, from a small diagram. Give this one some horns. And it's worth practicing the, these quite a lot. You'll find that um, you can do them, you can end up doing them very quickly and actually within a space of a few seconds you've got, you've got the animal. So I'll do a few more standing up. Just look at the various different shapes that the animal is, is making. Which way are the horn's going to go? Horns might be the exception to the straight right line rule. So I'm going to carry on just drawing lots of them and they're moving all the time, they're changing position all the time and it's just very, very useful practice. And just look at how you can develop so many different angles. And when you get more confident with it, you can start thinking about what those angles are doing when the animal is moving. And just repeating again and again and again, maybe on a different scale, maybe keeping it this scale. Let's have a bigger one here. And then eventually you can put the detail in. So let's develop this one a little bit further just to see what it would look like if you finished off a little bit more detail. You've had the chance of a whole herd of impala in front of you, but um, they've now moved off and you're able to fill in a few of the lights and darks and, and flesh out that, that drawing a little bit. Um, of course, the legs, is gonna, <laughs> the legs are gonna go through this chap here, but let's not worry about that. And and remember that nice line across the impala. And 
And so by giving a bit of shading to it, you're not overdoing it, but you're, you're finding a bit more tone and a bit more volume on the animal. There we are. So there I've given you an example about how to draw animals from, from life using the straight lines and the angles to, to start your drawing. Um, it's always great fun drawing from, uh, from life. And so use this technique and again and again and again and see whether it's the one that suits you as one of your starting techniques. Um, so go out and practice, find, find animals in a field or go to the zoo or come on safari um, and keep watching the other videos as well because there are lots of different techniques to start drawing. Um, so subscribe to the YouTube video um, channel that we've got, Art, um, Art Safari TV and come to visit our website at www.artsafari.co.uk to join workshops or safaris or just have a look and see what we're doing. Thank you very much.